Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So I've had a lot of requests to see more 1v1 content on the channel, and today we're bringing it back. I know a lot of people had questions about where the Road to Rank 1 series went, and I'll explain more of that at the end of the video. But I made a post a while back about how my time is better spent making new maps and content for you guys, rather than sitting in queue for upwards of 20-30 minutes between games. But I do want to play some 1v1s here and there to help you guys improve, and so here we are. Also, if you don't want to miss out on any of my new daily videos and new content, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Plus, it helps me directly, and it's free. Now let's get into the 1v1 games. I'm currently at 1623 MMR at rank 18 on the leaderboard, so let's see if we can move up a little bit in the ranks. Alright, for the first game we got Jasper. See how this goes. Good kickoff. So this here might bring it back. To pop it over him. Try to stay close. Let's get a 50-50. Try to go for this mid boost if I can. Should have some time. It's a good flick. A little too high. I actually had the block, but he went so high on the ball that... It actually went over. Good 50 50. To be a fast boom. And there we go. Crossbar down. So right there, I had the block on the on the net, but he went too high. So he ended up booming it over the crossbar. Get the boost here. Make sure it's close to target. Follow with the boost. There we go. So this should be a corner hit. Let's put it down far. He he didn't really know where I was gonna go. I tried to like delay the shot a little bit. That way he has to pre-jump or something. So I just waited a little s second before taking the shot. And then I get a bit of a bounce shot. Gives me some space. I'm actually gonna hit this back really hard. So he notices that. He's gonna stay with the ball again. Shouldn't have went, went so aggressively on that touch. Should be a 50-50. Stuck in the net now. Get the boost. Hopefully I can just shoot this. Good block. Let's see what they do with the pop here. I don't think they got it, so I'm just going to be a little bit careful with how I approach that. They're pretty low here, so I'm just going to force 50, 50, 50 out and then try to get the boost. There we go. Got some space now. Pop it around them. Get the kill. This way I can get the boost and let the ball roll out. Spawns on this side is a little bit worse for me, but... There we go. Delayed flick. Uh, because they spawn on the right side, I have a little more space to work with. So I use that, that time to get a bounce dribble going. And then I get that extra touch. I'm going to stay with the ball here. Should be alright. So they uh, they push up pretty far there. All I have to do is just chip it pretty hard. And we get the early win. So pretty solid first game. Let's see uh, see if we can get a few more wins in this, this video. I know a lot of you guys like the 1v1 content, so I'm trying to keep it going at times. Uh, but obviously with the queue times, it's sometimes really difficult to uh, to put the time in to just sit here and, and kind of grind. But it's kind of nice to practice a little more sometimes. All right, second game of the episode. We uh, have the same player. Let's see if we can pull another win. Pretty convincing win in the first game. But you might get used to how I'm playing now, so. It's on Dominus now. Let's get 50-50. It's a bit difficult to transfer right away, but let's pop it up. It's a good flick. A pretty low boost there, so I'm just going to grab the boost. Stay close. Stay close again. Try to clear it backwards, but I should give me the space to hit this around him. Still on the backboards, so and I can sort of bait him down to the floor. And there we go. So once I see him go on the backboard a little bit, I slow it down because it makes him have to make a choice to come off the wall. 
and in doing so he could put himself in a pretty vulnerable vulnerable position so that's why i uh do a high flick and then he overcommits. there we go delayed flick again okay well that was quick there's only a minute of gameplay uh wow yeah so two forfeits i guess just looking to move on play someone different but we'll get into the third game real quick and uh see where we get off from there all right we've got still not on pc <laughs> wait a minute that's a little confusing i actually played this guy in 2v2 recently I don't really know who he is. This could be a, a decent chance for him. I'm just gonna wait here, stay close. Are we gonna flick it? There's the overcommit. So he tried to make something happen in the corner. I just wasn't gonna bite. He had a chance to probably just shoot on target right when in that corner play where I made a 50 50 in his corner, but he didn't take the opportunity. There we go. I'll leave the ball to bounce here. Find that opening. It's pretty uh, pretty tight against the corner of his goal, so there, was, there wasn't much of a space to uh, make the shot. But I just waited for him to push up and then try to go for the, the late shot. Not what I meant to do here. To try to bump him here if I can. There we go. So yeah, I don't know what happened there. I think he jumped off the backboard to try and come down to it. I was gonna try and bump him, so maybe try to avoid it. But then uh, he just jumped up pretty late. He does get the win on the on the on the the fifty fifty of the kickoff though. Let's see what he does. He does have a flip, so I don't want to waste uh, my positioning. But there's a good wave dash to push ahead of me. Got the ball across. I knew he had the wave dash or something, so I had to wait and respect it. It's just part of 1v1. Should we get back to this? He thought it was open, I guess. That's why he overcommitted like that. It's a good 50-50. Going for the uh, the ceiling save. Oh, that's a good shot. Really fast. I should have went directly towards net. I didn't respect the early shot, which I definitely should in that situation. Pings all over the place. Not sure what's going on. Go for the late shot. Too hard to save. There we go. Sometimes I wait there and take control, but I felt like I could shoot that pretty early. It's honestly a gamble depending on where they rotate back and stuff. This bounced out pretty well for me. Let's take a shot on target. Has to uh, push it across. That's fine, he throws it away. I'm not going to get the boost, so I'm going to conserve the rest. Okay, I'm not sure what he's doing, trying to bump me here. He left me the boost, which is a free gift. I'll take it. I'm for the, the fake, just in case he went for it. Oh my gosh, that was my bad. Playing really weird, he kept doing like little fakes, little uh, pumps forward, and then kind of just hitting the brakes. I could have just challenged that pretty, pretty aggressively, it would have been fine. So he's going for the corner boost, which is why I went for the delay there. Just hit that off the backboard and then bring it back. He stays on this. Should be alright. Got the boost for me though. He tried to shoot it early, but couldn't find the angle. Right here, I'm just going to boom it out, so that way we can get some space. If he goes for that mid boost, I can at least stay with the ball here. Cause some pressure. Stay in the way. He likes to drift around a lot, I noticed, so gotta be a little bit aware of that. There we go. I ran on my flip. That's super awkward. Oh, it's really bad. Should have just waited an extra second. I had time to let the ball come down to me, but I should have just also just probably just double jumped and put it towards target. It was he was far enough away that it doesn't really matter if I go for that or not. Okay. Let's 
go for the late 50. He has a lot of these fakes. Oh, he didn't go for the shot immediately. If he goes for that corner, it's bad. He's pretty low here, so he's going to get probably go for a bump or something. Very awkward player. Sometimes that's like how you win 1v1s though, is be really hard to read. Be super awkward. Play from here. I'm not sure what he's doing. Put it behind him. He's pretty low. He's going to go around for the boost. Really awkward play. He does here. He didn't get the he didn't get the uh, the flip reset. Not gonna be fast enough. He's gotta follow that touch or else it's gonna be pretty bad for him. There it is. So let's stop playing dumb here. He's looking for me. There it is. It's a good 50-50. Good save. I go for the immediate shot, so I can't really go. It's a good flick. Put that off the post too, so it should be a save and shot here. There we go. So I played, I outplayed myself a lot in this game so far. I think it's really on me. It's playing a little weird, doing really like change ups of speed, so it, it is good. But at the same time, I'm kind of outplaying myself, uh, overthinking what he's gonna do. I don't really know what rank he is, so uh, I don't like to use the numbers on the leaderboard in ones just because I feel like I might uh, change how I play depending on, oh my gosh, I just missed that, uh, depending on who the player is or what the uh, the rank is, so I just turn it off and uh, just play as if it's, you know, anybody in the top leaderboard, but he's a pretty good player. I just uh, definitely like outplayed myself a lot, but we're at 1636 so far. I think we have enough time for one more game since we had two quick forfeits. All right, for the last game, we get Riddles. He's a West player, I think. Had him in the uh, the Road to Rank 1 series quite a bit. Pretty laggy kickoff, but should be all right. I think that's pretty awkward for him by going up the wall. There we go. Oh, that's pretty close. Almost got the shot on him. There we go. So I went for the fake off that corner. Uh, made 50-50 in mid. Then tried to take an early chip. He just got a touch off the corner. But it hit the corner uh, backboard area on the right side. So that came back in mid. So I just wanted to make a quick first touch. A little bit of a late challenge. He's pretty far. Uh, he's trying to recover. So I just make a quick chip. Sort of bait him in, see if he's gonna challenge. If not, he has to go for defense. So I can grab his corner boost. So it doesn't do either one, uh, which puts me in a pretty good spot to just take a shot. He's out the corner. He's gonna get the boost. Gotta make sure I stay in a good spot here. Try not to pot. Try not to uh, challenge too aggressively with 12 boost. We got another pad too, so this should be pretty good. Once again, I'm just going to save some boost. So I used a lot of it there, but I'm going to grab some paths. There we go. Moving pretty slow on the field, so. Oof. It's not on target. I'm going to force a 50 50 here. That way I can get the boost. I was playing pretty grounded here. Stay with this. Should be alright. Wasn't the greatest result, but we do stay with it here. He's gonna have to go back for boost. I'll go down to the ground early and then go early with the chip. Try to go for a fake in case he went for the far read. But he didn't bite. 
put it behind him. Pump him a little bit. There we go. He went for the early challenge once again. Just put it behind him, and then we get an open shot. So right there, I tried to fake the uh, the touch towards goal, and then he he tries to flip across the net to cover as many options. But since I'm putting it behind him, he can't really cover the uh, the option. Like he can't cover enough to cover everything here. It was not strong enough at all. I should have time for this if he uh, doesn't take an immediate shot. He just felt pretty high, so I have to try for it. I could have maybe gotten just back instead of going towards him, which probably would have been my better option. It's the shortest uh, length to goal, obviously, so... Could be the way to uh, take advantage of that position. It's gonna force bad 50-50s here. It's gonna make sure he pushes up. There we go. It's actually pretty much open, but I didn't get a good turn. It's pretty fast. Nice, there we go. So he's, he's trying to challenge me a lot in midfield, but those touches just give me the ball back so I can take a better position to take another shot and just slowly dwindle him down until he's got no boost left. So that should be a goal for him. Went a little bit too far right. Looked like he was going pretty far left, so I tried to uh, cancel that. But I find that feeding into the direction the other person's going sometimes like balances it a little, a little more like that. Should be in. Nice. So I just got a little bit of a, a doomsday dish flick uh, when he's in the back corner. That first touch was really, really important off the side wall or the back wall. It's a bad 50-50 again. He's going a little bit faster than he was in the, the first few. So a few kickoff goals, no big deal. Only got a minute 44 left. I think I gotta stay really, really centered on these. And a little bit faster. So right there I jumped to make the touch first. Uh, that way. Um, that way it stays with me. Uh, off that that side wall. If I leave that, he could stay on the ball. So, uh, more aggressive players will do that. So if I can get the uh, the boost and the ball in the corner, it could work out really well for me. I put it around him. It should bounce up. He could turn on this. It looks like he might. Once again, just doing the thing where I put it behind instead of in the direction he expects. Whew. Do the delayed shot again. So he just keeps expecting me to do the uh, the one thing towards goal. And it seems if I just go off target, he always seems to uh, jump early or go for that one that one play. Like full, full force. So if it doesn't work... It doesn't work. <laughs> uh, so I, I like when I play him. He usually is a little more passive or fakes a little more. But there, he seemed to be uh, uh, pretty easy to read for me. So I just like tried to use that to my advantage throughout the whole game. I'm sure if he played me again in the future, he'd he'd react differently. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. I know you guys like the one v one games, so I'm trying to do more. It's just the queue times are sometimes pretty long. Uh, today actually wasn't too too bad, uh, but the road to rank one is a little bit ridiculous, as you can see. Uh, I'm actually like rank 14 or something after those three wins. I was at 16-23 at the beginning. Uh, but as you can see, we're, we're moving up so slowly. Like now we're in 14th. But Ocalid is sitting at 1800. So that's 160 you know, points away. It's pretty far. Uh, it's a big climb. Uh, it's the same as like, <laughs> like not even on the leaderboard at all. Like that's the big difference. Um, yeah, not even close to the leaderboard in difference between me and the, the bottom. So... Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, until next time, have a good one.